Folks, welcome aboard Sunday, the Margu campaign on Murder Hobo Inc. Glad you're with us. Uh, and uh, tell your friends or not. Don't, you know, doesn't matter. Uh, today's show is going to be epic, probably epic failure, but we'll see. It's going to be epic because these guys have a new friend and I think everybody loves them. Uh, and I think we're going to see a whole lot more of them. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap, it's down there. If you want to join us on Discord, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want to see it on one of the shows, talk show or one shots, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. Uh, hit us up. We'll go ahead and get you on there. Uh, today, as I said, is the Margu campaign. Uh, it's the Frank episode uh, at all. Um, cause there's four of us, uh, but let's go ahead and introduce you to the cast. Uh, if you've seen them, uh, if you watched this before, you know who they are, but let's give you a refresher. AJ, you are up first. Who are you? Who are you playing? Hello, my name is AJ. I am playing Felix the Rogue, AKA our hero. I think there was another nickname I had written down for you. Ah, yeah. That was given to you by Mr. Latrek. <laughs> Oh, I don't uh, remember that one. No, you do not. <laughs> uh, next up is Jason. Jason, who are you and who are you playing? I'm Jason. I'm playing the gnome Copious Volbitters the Third, heir to the brewery empire and well-renowned uh, master of all things. I've heard the song. You have heard the song. I, it I've heard the song. Head. It sticks in the head. Uh, next up is Nicholas. Nicholas, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, I'm Nicholas, and I'm playing Haggis Crapstain. And you are so happy. <laughs> Out in the jungle, I, I'm going to be, uh, it's going to be tough for you and Manfang to get a date. Oh, I yeah. Bet, I bet we find one. Uh, next up is Middle Frank. Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? I'm Frank. I'm playing Robert of Zeppelin, the best and the only uh, top level uh, bard of a half orc. In the group, I'm supporting a wonderful gnome that we'll talk about soon. Not one that brews, you know, deer piss beer. Uh, a good gnome, a real gnome. <laughs> coyote piss. Yeah, coyote piss. Thank you. Coyote, coyote piss is a nice term. Uh, <laughs> you haven't said that about it. That brings us to the youngest Frank. Youngest Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? I am Man Fang, and I am a dragonborn fighter who's right now very hungry. So I'm just going to stop it there so I can eat my food. Please. Thank Let you. the record show that it was only two weeks ago when your head was shaved and now you got hair. So all that whining you did two weeks ago seems pretty pointless. Uh, last but certainly not least, Frank Sr. Who are you? Who are you playing? I am the oldest Frank and a little bit of a crank. And I'm playing Leaf the Druid. Folks, uh, these guys are in play drill in the capital city of Eli Toran, home of the Tabaxi. They are in the adventurer's quarter. Uh, they have secured the services of one Phineas Lutrec, one of the gnomes from the original gnomish scientific expedition that found the ruins that they are actively searching for, uh, the Nazumi ruins. Hell of, uh, a, hell of a guy. Great guy. Fantastic guy. Uh, I think everybody loves him. Uh, they ran into him once Felix and Haggis uh, got a little bit too much of the nip. Uh, by the way, Felix, I think you're the one still holding. So just as a reminder, uh, these guys have come up with some catnip, uh, thinking that maybe it'll work. Uh, it didn't work for them the first time, but they did oh, yes, find it. They have found a guide to take them to the Nazumi ruins because Phineas Latrek has told them he's been there plenty of times. He knows what it, what's what and who's where and why it happens. So uh, these guys have all bedded down for the night to try and get away from the trouble that seems to follow them, unfortunately. Uh, as the sun breaks through each of your windows, I'm going to need a perception check by Felix the Rogue. Not natural 20. Nice. Very nice. You rise, wipe the sand out of your eyes, and immediately realize you are alone in this room. When you went to bed, Phineas Latrec was your roommate. His bed is made nicely, and all of his belongings are gone. 
as I recall, the night before we had a delicacy known as tacos. What tacos. I was expecting, <laughs> yeah, tacos. <laughs> I was expecting to wake up this morning and I'm going to inspect myself. Am I covered in any viscous liquids? You are not. All of you uh, managed to do good constitution rolls last time, uh, and the tacos uh, have not adversely affected you. At this Does he have a bad taste in his mouth? Oh, yeah. He's got morning breath. He's got morning breath like he licked a walrus. I'm going to start looking around for my possessions and make sure everything's still there, starting with my mermaid-handled dagger. It is there. All of your uh, worldly possessions are present. You quickly count your money. Everything is right there. Good, good. I guess I'm going to look around to see if there's anything else that's there. Nope, no, no, no. Uh, hey, went down for breakfast. Uh, just uh, disappearance of a new friend. All right, well, I'm going to go into the other rooms and wake the others. Uh, each of them have also risen from the morning sunshine peeking in. Uh, I would assume that they are maybe startled, maybe not so startled that your guide has disappeared. Uh, but, uh, you can all go downstairs and see if you can locate some breakfast or you can go directly to the stables, uh, the okay corral as it were, and, uh, load up and, Go off on your own. I would say uh, I thought the trail through the jungle was too hard to uh, take the zonkeys through. Is that correct? Uh, not the zonkeys, a cart. A cart, but the zonkeys can trail through. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, no. If uh, if uh, he's telling us that uh, our cohort is not there, I'm getting a little frazzled and pissed. I need oh, a yes. to place. Why don't I run downstairs? I'll get us some breakfast to go. They'll pack it picnic style. You guys go to the stables and get the zonkeys and look for Mr. Latrec. That's my plan. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Everybody I plan on it? Go, I'm going to go downstairs and see about getting some extra supplies to take with us, too, food wise bread and dried beef if they got it, dried meat, whatever. Sure, no, uh, no tangerines or. <laughs> What what was it that he got before the ship? Oranges. Oranges. Oranges, oh, oranges that's right. <laughs> uh, we shall see. Hey, quick shout out to our sponsor, oddfishgames.com, as well as Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, for all your game additives, uh, check out oddfishgames.com. Uh, Pirate Dog Dice is not open yet, so you'll have to wait. Uh, okay, so Felix and Leaf both head downstairs to go ahead and do a rations check. Copious Haggis. Uh, Manfang and Robert head over to the uh, OK Corral. Uh, the proprietor is there and has a look of <sighs> fatigue on his face. Uh, he does have all of your zonkeys prepped and ready to go. Uh, he just, something bothers him. What's bothering you? Your associate, I don't know why you hang around with him. That he is an annoyance. Ah, I saw him. You know how hard it is to find tack for a creature like that? Creature like what? Uh, every, you four, give me perception check. <laughs> 20 natural. 11 natural for you, Frankie. Wait, wait, 17. Perception. Everybody but Man Fang notices. Uh, Deception plus three. That's a. Oh, he had 14. a fourteen. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. All four of you uh, see a rumble in the foliage, uh, and then this dinosaur-esque head peeks out of the foliage, and it seems to be squirming a little bit. Moments later, you see a tiny whip smack it on the head. And it lurches forward. This thing is a Gila monster, uh, ridden by one Phineas Lutrec. <laughs> he has commandeered a special mount, uh, and the OK Corral manager. <sighs> He's your problem, not mine. Uh, <laughs> you can tell that Phineas is 
not exactly <laughs> skilled in handling this lizard-like creature uh, and is having his uh, dithers about controlling it. Uh, but the smile is ear to ear. Uh, he says to you, hey, look what I found. <laughs> Where the hell did you find that? Funny story, my friend. You know, I enjoy a good throw of the dice, right? Who doesn't? I mean, where's uh, well, the other guy? Uh, you know, I enjoy a good throw of the dice. So this morning when I was taking a constitutional because the tacos didn't agree with me last night, not sure why, uh, I ran into a traveling game with some individual tabaxis who uh, had secured this mount. Uh, by sheer luck and happenstance, uh, the dice were kinder to me than they were to them, and I have procured myself my own mount so i will not have to ride piggyback like some plebeian or fancy pants uh so i am ready to go nobody's going to be trailing after us because of this mount when we leave out of here i just need to know whether or not we got to haul ass or not you offend me this 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 mount was one Fair and square. <laughs> I have a hard time believing any mount is fair and square when it comes to you. Uh, the OK Corral owner hands you guys uh, the bridles to all six zonkeys, uh, noting that two of your associates are still missing, but I have a headache from dealing with your friend. Just get him away from me. <laughs> uh, Leaf, how many uh, extra supplies would you like to get? Muted leaf, muted, 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 muted. muted. Ah, the paybacks. Yes. <laughs> uh, at least four or five days rations. Ah, <laughs> uh, they can do that. They want to know if uh, you want any uh, woolly balls. Woolly balls. The tabaxi that you're talking to. <laughs> it helps pass the time. They're yes, like Colorado mountain oysters. Yeah, give us. We'll take some woolly balls. Those are like mountain oysters. Rocky Mountain oysters, sure. Why not? Yeah, uh, throw that in. Uh, it's going to cost you guys right around 10, 12 gold pieces right. uh, for breakfast this morning and the uh, extra rations. Now, Leaf, were you getting it for everybody? I'll go ahead and get it for everybody. They can just pay me back. Let's go 25. Right. Total? Total. It's just food. They have plenty of food here. Plenty. Where are you guys headed? To the job. Uh, Was that five days know. rations that we're figuring? Each. Okay. So Felix and Leaf, uh, where are you guys headed? Uh, out into the jungle. Heading Felix over to more. the stables. Well, the stables aren't in the jungle. Why would you go in the jungle? Well, we're going to the stables, then to the jungle. But, uh, what are you going to do in the jungle? We're bird watchers. Oh. We've sailed We're going to go look at birdies. Land. Yeah. Watch the birds in the jungle. Uh, give me persuasion check there, uh, Leaf. Hey. Oh, geez. Hey, yo, your grandfather. Oh. Good. Uh, 14. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, white. Well, I, I'm not. I'm not one to pry into somebody's business, so uh, good luck, I guess. I, I don't think the birds are going to like the rations. I assume uh, that's what you're trying to get them to come eat. What? I, I don't understand why the birds would be eating the rations. The birds eat the food in the jungle. The jungle's full of food. Yeah. You guys are going out for four or five days? Rations well, for us. The rations are for us because the good birds, they stay away from the tabaxi. The good you, birds, you're so. talking to a tabaxi, by the way. Yeah, we know. Okay. I'm well aware, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They are afraid of the tabaxi. And we like it. We may just stay in the jungle. Good anyway, luck, thank my you. friends. Yeah, thank good you luck. for the rations. We'll be on our way. I am a man of the earth, you know. Yeah, that's true. Uh, many a times I've heard somebody refer to you as 
not the salt of the earth, but something. Yeah, uh, yeah. Are you guys headed back over to the stable? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You are surprised, not surprised, that your four associates have found Felix's missing bedmate, uh, Phineas Lautrec, astride some kind of bearded lizard creature. Uh, the thing looks like it has a cranky disposition, and so does its rider as Fe uh, Phineas struggles to go ahead and maintain control of the animal. Phineas, do you need to be tied to the saddle? Nope. Make sure you don't nope. fall out. Not yet. Do you know these things can climb trees? Not <laughs> bad. You. Well, you know what? Uh, if danger approaches, you'll find me up there. Uh, as Felix and Leaf approach, uh, Felix, are you going to hand out breakfast? I am going to sell breakfast. Uh, guys, I got five days rations for each of you. Breakfast for this morning. It's five gold apiece. I already I've already paid for it. You need to pay me. I already I'll marked pay you, Grandpa. What's up, Robert? For six, you realize he's, he's making profit off this. I don't care. I want food. I'm just rounding it so it comes out right. Uh -huh. this, it's four sixteen for the six the party of six. It's four dollar or four gold and sixteen silver. No, as far as you're concerned, it's five gold. Uh -huh. That is true. You, you weren't there. Only I was there, and I remember that. I I you did the calculations. I calculated. You calculated that. My, my mama told me to calculate. Me. Don't trust an old man. One one. It says four it's, one six 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 copious. six 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 six. Six 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 seven. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll pay. I don't you know, no, here, take it, take the tip. Sense. It's it's you know half a gold piece. However, uh did you get some for the little gnome on the lizard? Phineas has his five gold ready as well. Uh -huh. Less than did not get any for him, didn't know he was coming. So we'll just have to send him over to get his own. Oh no, we don't have time to wait on him. We're going in the jungle. Oh no, I'll wait. Leaf, uh, the gnome, upset that you failed to do that, smacks his mount twice on the left side, and an elastic tongue shoots out and nicks some of the breakfast. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at a dead gnome. <laughs> Go ahead and roll initiative, sucker. I'm going after him. Okay. Uh, he does point out that I, I, I didn't know the creature was going to do that, and I didn't get the food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw him. 17 on the die. Add to 19. 18, and we'll add one to that. It's 19. Ty, Ty goes the runner. Go ahead. Okay. Let me just see which spell I want to throw at some. He still has his five gold pieces in hand. He won't in a minute. <laughs> Grandpa, I'm not feeling hey. a lot of love in this party. Hey, hey, no you love in you this want to bet on this? Do you want to, you want a side bet? Oh yeah, I want a side bet. Yeah, two two gold leaves on his ass before this is over. Oh man, I, that's I can't is there anybody I'm between anybody I'm between me and him? Uh no, I'll say you guys are all in a big circle. Okay. Is there anyone else around? Is there oh, a crowd starting to form or not yet? <laughs> now everybody's kind of afraid of the uh Gila monster ride. Gila Gila. Okay. I'm gonna cast jump on myself and jump on the back of the Gila monster. Uh can I get in on that bed copious? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, give, me, eight. give me a dexterity uh, modifier to hit it. We're all rooting for you, Leaf. Copious is calling that out. And then Felix, we're still betting, right? Oh, no, he's he's down. 18. There's no way he's getting there. You land facing backwards on the Gila monster right behind Phineas Lutrec, who takes one ankle and smacks the creature uh, forward. Now make another dexterity saving throw since you got nothing to hang on to. 
before you fret. 19. You hang on to the scales, uh, and it is off to the races. The Gila monster scares your zonky. Uh, yeah. D12 against me to see if the zonky is going to be chased down or just skitters. That's five. Uh, Reroll. Nine. As you what? As you reconcile all this, we all know that uh, the the Gila monster is owned by Latrec, right? It's clearly his mount. It is clearly his mount. All right, I'm gonna whisper to Haggis Crapstain and Manfang. It said that gnome's a piece of work. He's clearly <laughs> trying to hurt Leaf. If really? this goes any farther south and Leaf gets knocked off, I say we take out the Gila monster. Okay. We um, kill that sucker right now. Or lame or stop it cold. This gnome can walk into the jungle on a leash just as far as I'm concerned. Like an oversized Gila monster? Nice. Yeah, it's a giant one. It's a giant one. And you want to attack you've seen us fight, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are the hero of fireball. Half a dozen uh, adventures. Leaf, uh, your zonkey is terrified and takes off uh, with the food, I may add, uh, in the saddlebags. It's going to have to be chased down by your party. Meanwhile, it is climbing up a tree as Phidias struggles to maintain his grip on it as well. Uh, both of you are going to need a dexterity check to remain on said mount. One of us going after the food. Well, that's a natural 17. <laughs> I got an 18. You guys are both hanging on for dear life as you find yourself in the top of a palm tree uh, next to a stack of bananas. Uh, the, Gila, the Gila monster has wound itself around into a nest formation. Uh, and you two, Phineas is facing this way, you're facing this way, but you're like right here. And Phineas asks you, what in the hell are you doing? <laughs> uh, what I'm doing is getting the one that just stole from me. I don't take kindly to that. It's a dumb oh, animal. No, 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 hell no. I saw you tap it. Well, yeah, I was telling him it was a good boy. Uh-huh, yeah, you're telling him it was a good boy, all right. That's a 19 on deception. <laughs> don't you uh, pat your zonkey? No, I don't. Maybe you should. Maybe that's I write it. Maybe that's why you're a, you're so angry. All the so time. what do I roll against? My wisdom with your deception? Yes. That'd be a 21. Uh, I don't think Phineas gets much help so okay you think he's kind of full of crap but oh, now yeah. you two are 30 feet up in the air next to uh banana stacks uh who's chasing the zonkey that's me and man fang uh yeah. give me straight up d20s both of you we'll be rolling at least twice 19. Seven. that's your number all right Third. and Third. second roll roll again 19 Oh. <laughs> the zonkey crashes into a cart uh, that is ferrying goods and services. You two catch up to it quickly. However, the merchant is not happy. Uh, oh, some of the supplies from Leaf are also spilled on the floor. Uh, there's a cop rolling out crime scene tape, and people are now starting <laughs> to gather uh, at the vehicular accident. Hey, uh, offer him lizard meat as a recompense for the, the down table. Oh, yeah, I'm I will apologize that. profusely that we crashed into it. Our friend, I'll explain that our associate is having a business <laughs> discussion back there, and somehow our zonkey got spooked. By a big lizard? By a big lizard. I'm going to reach into the saddlebags and attempt to find if there's any coins in there that Leaf may have left. He says no. No. Okay. Well, uh, I keep my coin on me. I don't. I'm just going to gather our stuff and apologize. <laughs> In this group, there's we'll no way on our way back. Uh, give me a performance roll. See <laughs> if you're uh, able to go ahead and convince the Ooh. man that this is just an unhappy accident. That is not good. It's going to be an eight. I'm afraid I have lost uh, some of my goods today, kind sir, and I I feel it is my opinion 
and I think the opinion of the others that compensation needs to be made. Uh, I will happily forgive this accident if I can keep the zonkey. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. That's not going to happen. I don't feel that this accident is worthy of a zonkey. I feel it is worthy of what? We damaged a little bit of your bread and some of your other goods that you have there. I will give you five gold pieces for your trouble. Zonkeys, that's that zonkeys worth more than five gold. How about about ten not, gold? Yeah, the zonkey is worth more than five gold, but your bread that was damaged is not. I will give you three gold pieces, and I'm gonna start shepherding my zonkey away while he is still talking. Here's three gold pieces, take it or leave it. The man begins to yell, Oh, my back! My back! I got whiplash! My back! Uh, and here come the fuzz. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh, and he's down on the ground. Oh, 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 I can't move. <laughs> Is there a officer? Officer, this man, he was attempting to steal my zonkey. Arrest this man. Oh, I, I can't even get up, officer. He, yeah, I can't he tried get to up. lift it up and take it. I don't know what kind of idiot would do that. <laughs> So you pushed him back and he hit his back on the cart. No, his spine's broken. I did not lay a finger on him. I simply was collecting my goods when this man ran into my zonkey. There are lots of witnesses. This gentleman over here, he ran over. He saw it. I'm going to point to uh, you. Noodle, and he will confirm this story. What, yeah. Before Noodle confirms, <laughs> uh, back in the tree... Phineas is looking around and he's like, do you have any idea how the hell I'm supposed to get down? Well, you're the one that's got this mount. You ride it down. Now, you're here's what we're going to do. You, you now, you're going to ride mount. this thing down to the ground. You go to the inn and get your own supplies. I didn't know you were here, so I just got enough for the rest of the party. You go get your own. I believe, I believe, That's the deal. I believe I was promised food and lodging. I believe that was part of the agreement, a gentleman's agreement between myself and the large individual. Talk this does, large this individual. does not sound, this does not, this, uh, no, I need to get a barrister. This is wrong. I can promise you lizard steak if you don't do what I said right now. He looks over, gives you a smug look, takes the reins. Hey <laughs> Go ahead and give me a dexterity check at disadvantage as he speeds down the tree. 16. 18. Uh, you hang on for dear life uh, by the prehensile tail of the creature and slide down, knocking several bananas over. Uh, let's see. Robert, Haggis, and Copius. Roll just a straight up d20. A one or a two means you get hit by a possible of bananas. Nope. I rolled a 15, but I'll start picking them up afterwards. 15. 18. Uh, all of you managed to dodge the flying fruit. Uh, I'm Phine picking up his rations for the trip. Okay. Phineas turns around and says, you want to get off my mount so I can go get my own grits? Muted. Best conversation we've Just, ever had with Leaf. Give me back the one you stole from me. Uh, and we'll do it. I believe the mount has eaten them. Well, then you need to pick up some more for somebody else while you're over there. Article 2, subsection 3 clearly stated that I would be fed and cared for. But fine. Fine. I will go get my own rations no, and my no. own cost. <laughs> no, you have to replace the rations that were taken. I have rations for you for the trip. Um, oh. Just a yeah. point of clarification. We agreed to hardtack for this sucker. Yeah, no, no. We have that. I got, I got other rations for him. I made the agreement that I would provide rations. I just picked them up. I still vote he gets lizard steak for rations. Let's take it out now. Sounds like an idea. 
I, I've heard the tail tastes like chicken. Let's take it out. I'm going to cast flame blade. And I, next week, ladies and gentlemen, we'll start our trek into the jungle. I feel that this is not what I had signed up for. I feel that uh, while I have been above above board, above board at all times, I could have left this party at any time. But no, I, I agreed because my word. I got you lodging. See, this guy, this guy, he knows. He Everybody. knows. Shut the hell up. Well, except for the two that are chasing. Here's your food. Now go buy food to replace. Hey, he's got your food. Hey, he got your lodging. Blah, 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 blah. Your animal did eat somebody else's food. You have yep. to replace that. I, I will, I will, I will replace it. I will replace it. it. Right. I make the deal. Since everybody else wants to whine a bitch, I'll feed him. I got plenty of bananas and hardtack. Uh Leaf, are you gonna get off or ride with him? You're muted. We got you getting off. Okay. Uh, I got off. <laughs> he leaves uh, and he passes by That's what uh, Felix and Manfang. Manfang, the tabaxi guards, uh, after being told by Felix, pointing you out to be a uh, numero uno witness. Tell us what happened. So here's the gist. Yes. With your lawyer, what? There are no sidebars. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tell him. And you saw it. That exactly idiot like tried that. to steal our zonkey, then he crashed into it and damaged all his goods. If anything, we should be compensated for the shoe that was thrown from our donkey. I'm gonna have to go to the farrier and get it reshoed. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I. Uh, I can confirm that happened, but it was, it was our zonky. He got spooked. I guess we'll pay you three gold, maybe. I have no idea. I'm gonna pull those woolly balls out of my pocket. Just give it to him. Just kind of jingle them to the side a little bit as I'm talking. I'm interested. <laughs> and hopes to distract him a little bit as I as we're talking. Distraction complete. However. The crowd that is formed around all take a step back from something behind you two. Do we notice that? As, all you, right. as you turn around, it appears to be a large lizard ridden by a gnome, and the gnome says, Officer, the real owner of that vehicle is over there. <laughs> and he Mosey's on past you, and the <laughs> guards now say, uh, real owner? I thought Correct. you guys owned this animal. Uh, no, that is <laughs> what that is one of our associates, my associates. He was conducting the business transaction with my other associate back there, where the his, the real owner, Zonky, got spooked, ran over here. And this guy tried to steal it from me. Ding, 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 ding. Still shaking the woolly balls. Oh, my other back. <laughs> <laughs> See? He's a liar. He doesn't have two backs. He has two spines. He is a tabaxi. Puns, <laughs> <laughs> the lowest form of humor. The, uh, the injured man will say, Officer, I will settle with the ugly draconian for three gold. You're paying So it. he will pay me three gold for my trouble. I completely accept that. No, he, th that guy, the Scarface guy over there, he's the one that offered me the three gold. Fine, 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 fine. I'm just going to give it to him so we can just end this conversation. I don't uh, care. This conversation's been going on for like half an hour. Thank you, kind stranger. I will be on my way. Are uh, you gonna? Are those woolly balls yours? Yes, they are. They're nice yes. balls, aren't they? They are very nice. How big are these woolly balls? Side note: Are are they big uh, enough? I could pool balls. Okay, I'm gonna take yeah, them back good. in my bag and say yes. I like them very much. 
Okay. Uh, the guard, uh, seemingly with everybody happy, says, fine, whatever, go about your business. Uh, as you guys wrangle the lost zonkey, uh, the lizard returns uh, with a bag of groceries under his arm. How's it going, guys? <laughs> it's going great. It's going great. He continues to move up. He finally reaches Leaf the Druid. You guys bring Leaf his zonkey. Uh, and Phineas, looking at Leaf, says, being the bigger man, I have bought you <laughs> twice the amount because I am here for success, not for bickering and juvenile behavior. This guy knows what I'm talking about right here. You, I'm not sure that you'll survive the jungle, but here are your groceries. And he gives you two days worth of rations and there's a little bit of bacon in there. Ooh, screw this trick. Kind of a, a little bit of a bribe there. I'll take them. I think I'll take bribes. Now, who, does everybody have their rations now? I, 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 he gave yeah. you two days worth. You had yeah. five days is what he ate. I know. I know. No, he, ate, he ate the breakfast. Oh, he just ate the breakfast. He, he, stole the breakfast. Just ate, he just ate the breakfast. Okay. Has everybody got their rations? Yes. Yes. Everybody yes. paid me. Yes. yes. I marked it on right. my. What I attempted to pay. I did not pay you. I paid this shopkeep when we got them because I was with you. What to show you. Just what kind of a nice guy I am, I'll turn around and walk away now. You know, I'm going to go get my zonkey and collect whatever's scattered and get things packed back up. As you turn and begin to walk towards your zonkey and your scattered items, you hear what can best be described as sad tuba music. Spinning around, you notice that Phineas Latrec has found himself a small piccolo-like instrument, but it sounds more voracious than what it appears to be. And you get the, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> when you turn around and glare uh, at him, he stops and makes the, I want to make a side <laughs> bet right now on whether or not this son of a bitch lives to see the ruins again. Hey, we just have to get back with him. Once our contract is done, he <clears throat> dies. I just need one of his hands. We just got to get to the ruins. I ain't worried about getting back with him. Well, I have a contract. Well, are we ready, ladies, or are we just going to hang out here and whine about my lizard? Let's get it done. All right. All right. It will take five days to get there. Is five days rations going to be enough for you guys? How big is this island? As long as your stupid oh. lizard doesn't eat them anymore. Uh, island is the size of... Oh, Chai? Now it's uh, 20, 40, 60. Uh, Good size. You, you, got, you got a track. Yeah. It's, it's maybe Puerto Rico size. I was, just wondering, I was just wondering if we weren't just walking around the entire thing and then going in the middle... No, you guys are actually doing this. <clears throat> you guys are right here at Eli Toran. According to the information given to you by Phineas Latrec, the ruins are somewhere over here on this coastline, hence water passage or land passage. Uh, he has suggested that you guys will follow the river uh, because that makes the most amount of sense since it empties out into this Lake Nazumi, as he calls it. So you will be trekking all the way around. Works for me. Good. I'm on my zonkey. So I'm going to play my lute as we drive. He will chime in with his miniature tuba. Uh, everybody in sight. By the way, does this sound like he's playing a polka? Because I want to know if that's Robert Zeppelin's new bag. Polka music. Been going on. You know what? I'm going to go marching band music. He is uh, Phineas. Uh, Phineas Latrec, aka uh, who does all the marching? John Sousa. from Sousa. I got Phineas Sousa Latrec. There you go. I'm not sure twenty. Yeah, nine. Every, seven. Everybody above a 12 will realize that uh, Robert of Zeppelin and Phineas Sousa Latrec are going to attract every damn creature 
in the region if they keep playing that music. That's fine for me. I gave my love a uh, copious bitters. It gave her the shits. <laughs> I gave my love hey, Robert, so bitter. Enough with the music. Oh. We're trying to be a little stealthy here when we're going through the jungle. Haven't you heard about some of the horrors that there's take tigers. place in these jungles? There's tigers in these woods. Lions tigers. and tigers and possibly bears. Oh, my. Uh, you proceed around town so as not to uh, gain undue attention. As Phineas reminds you that uh, taking any of the artifacts, it's really frowned upon here, so... Every once in a while, his lizard will just shoot its tongue into the undergrowth and return with a smaller lizard with a, just a single uh, as it proceeds along. Phineas will insist on leading unless someone else opts to. Nope. He could die first. I'm pretty sure that's what we're paying him for, right? He's the only one that's been there, allegedly. I'm going to be very careful not to step in anything <laughs> that comes out the back of that lizard. With my zonky. I would just at least stay back away from the tail enough. That would probably be a good idea because the swishing tail uh, looks a little bit bristly, and as Leaf the Druid can attest, uh, it's a little rough on the hands. Uh, you guys travel about two hours and you are in deep jungle. Uh, <clears throat> the trail, as it is, uh, is narrow. It is winding. Uh, he has whipped out a short sword and he is hacking down large fronds as they go uh, and, and points out that, you know, we hacked these all down last week. That's how fast this place grows. Uh, as you get off the trail, uh, such as it is, he begins to look around a little bit puzzled. Uh, everybody give me an investigation check. Ooh, not as good. Nine. Oh, God. That's my I'm too busy thinking up some. I got a zero. Sixteen. What'd you roll? One? One? And look at my investigation. Felix? What is it? Seventeen. Copious? Eleven. Four. Negative two. Felix and Haggis, uh, you notice some hash marks on a tree uh, nearby. Do they look like uh, characters? Did, like, uh, did, uh, did some sort of creature do it, or does it look like a humanoid? Man-made. Single slash horizontal cut. Okay, I mm -hmm. tap um, Phineas on the shoulder and say, if the, is this a mark one of y'all made or something? It yeah. is. You've got the eagle eye, my friend. Good job. Uh, we go this way. Mm -hmm. uh, as you move on out, you go a few more hours. Uh, it's hot. Uh, it's hot and steamy. If Adrian Cronauer was here, he could give you a really good descriptor on what <laughs> it's like. Uh, <clears throat> you also notice that you're next to a river, but the banks of the river are poorly defined uh, as swampy areas are around the base of it. So it is a very low river uh, and the area you are traversing is not exactly preferred terrain by the zonkeys. Phineas Latrec's creature, however, has zero problems navigating this. Uh, who is behind Phineas? I am. Uh, Robert, you're going to have to dodge mud as the prehensile tail is flicking. Uh, I will take initiative by everybody. 15 for Robert. Ooh, I'm famous. 12. 13. Noodle got 12. Leaf for 13. Not natural 20. And Copus? Natural 20. Uh, copious well, 23 for me. Uh, we got three nat 20s here. 
Uh, Felix Haggis, uh, you are the first to hear a loud buzzing noise. And as you look up above the canopy, the overgrown canopy of the jungle, you see four sets of wings, four sets of wings, four sets of wings. And that Dragon. seems to be the source of the buzzing noise. Dragonflies? Dragon. No, it's like, from, it's like from Willy Wonka when it was in like the Oompa Loompa forest. Giant dragonflies. Uh, Felix Haggis. Uh, they are just flying overhead at this point in time. It does not look as though they are aggressive or have spotted you. One of those two. Would you like to go ahead and take a pot shot at them and let them know you're here? Do it. Do it. Not at all. August? I, I would like to move. Well, did everyone notice them or do, does like... Everybody has noticed the buzzing. You two just reacted to it first. Okay. Well, I just suggest we move a little quieter around this area. Yeah. Is, is there like some undergrowth that we can kind of retreat back into a little bit? Uh, you can. It'll take you off the path. You guys also oh. notice that Phineas Latrex mount. <laughs> this son of a lizard. <laughs> he seems to have zeroed in on lunch, uh, and he is just calmly waiting. Uh, Phineas, however, seems to be oblivious to the buzzing as he fiddles with his musical instrument. Uh, but his mount waits patiently. Uh, Haggis is doing nothing. Felix is doing nothing. The buzzing dragonflies are overhead. 16 with Robert of Zeppelin. What would you like to do? I'm going to get off and secure my mount. Okay. There are plenty of small bamboo uh, groves in the jungle. Uh, you can do that. Next up is the 13 leaf. Mute. I'm going to unmute. I'm going to yell at Phineas and ask him why he's stopping. You're yelling? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm far enough back. I don't see any other way he's going to hear me. Uh, Man Fang, 12. Um, so what's happening again? I kind of zoned out for a bit. Okay. <laughs> the dragonflies are flying overhead. Yeah. Phineas' uh, lizard is looking at him like it's lunch. All just right. tracking him. I just got off. <laughs> my mount off so I can be ready to attack and Leaf just yelled Phineas why is your mount stop yep. he yelled that okay so loudly I'm, I'm loudly and not to for now you're gonna what he's holding he's holding his position until later time last but certainly not least copious be bitters what's she gonna do uh so dragonflies in the sky Gila monster up ahead. Um, I'm just going to pause and hold at this point and try to look scrutinize carefully as Leaf's shouting out to see if all of a sudden they see, uh, you know, rustling in the jungle or change in what the dragonflies are doing. Hmm. Start preparing spells. Phineas looks up. Ooh, and gives a loud blast on his horn. Uh, Ty goes to the runners, uh, the dragonflies, Haggis, and Felix all rolled natural 20s. What would you like to do in preparation for whatever the dragonflies are going to do? I'm going to pull out my bow and let's run oh. some arrows while sitting on my zonkey. So you're going to shoot at one or hold? I'm going to hold. Okay. Haggis? I want to see what this lizard does. I guess I'll hand bow. Okay. Shooting or holding? Draw it and ready. Okay. Uh, four of the dragonflies begin to circle. One of them assumes dive bomber mode and comes down and in. Everybody sees and the giant 
uh, dragonfly is wrapped up, I think, nat 20, wrapped up by the Gila monster, and but in ripping the dragonfly into its maw, the two sets of wings are out like whiskers. Uh, the four other dragonflies remove their tight circle and begin to expand, hiding above the canopy. Phineas turns around and goes, you're welcome. And moves his mount forward. I think I'm beginning to like him a little bit less. <laughs> He's not uh, here for your amazement. <laughs> uh, are you guys proceeding along? Yeah. Crisis um, averted. Phineas, uh, as you guys are walking past or walking behind Phineas, you notice that slowly but surely the dragonfly wings fall off his mount as it lumbers along. Uh, it is at this point in time when the lizard goes into the water and ope the muddy far side. Phineas, how are we supposed to get across this? Walk. The zonkeys. The zonkeys are taller than the lizard. But did it walk up a muddy... How high is the muddy side, I guess, is my next question. Two and a half, three feet. Remember, yeah. this is all low land. I just ride across. Just go on uh, yeah. everybody, everybody who crosses, give me a dex check to maintain mounted. Uh, alternatively, you can use acrobatics. I need a 13 or better. 16. Acrobatics. I'll go with my acrobatics. Yeah, I'm going with my acrobatics. acrobatics. 19. 19 as well. Fifteen. Nine. I guess Twenty-three. I'll... Copious V bitters falls off his zonkey and gets the poopy pants. <laughs> uh, good news, Copious, as you sit there stewing in anger. A normal sized dragonfly rests on the bridge of your nose and seems to be staring at you. Instantly, the swarthy, soaked, spongy, wet, grotesque tongue <laughs> has a little snack and whisks the dragonfly away. Phineas turns around and goes, ah, uh, that's two. <laughs> Come on. It leads you deeper into the jungle. Uh, after lunch, I assume you guys are going to be eating on your mounts? Yeah. Uh, you will be <laughs> safe because Phineas's mount is leading, so he cannot really crane his neck around and steal your lunch. Uh, Phineas seems to be throwing food debris willy-nilly along the trail, and every once in a while reaches out with a short sword and hacks a marker into the tree, similar to what you all saw earlier. Uh, he doesn't seem to have a care in the world, and this continues on until dusk, when uh. it reaches a nice, cool 84 degrees with probably 90% humidity. Uh. And he's like, I'm tired. Can we rest now? Where are we going to rest at? Let's start hacking down bamboo. Uh, let's, let's try to get to some higher ground. We're in the jungle. Get out of the mud. That would take us off trail. Take us off trail, bad things are there. There's cannibals out here, for God's sake. Let's uh, cut some of this bamboo and lash it to some of the bigger stuff, and we can get up off the ground for the night. Yes. I've seen this man versus wild. We can do this. Yeah. Who is the CB in the group that wants to roll performance? I'll do a performance. I don't have a CB thing on here. No, Navy CBs. <laughs> I know. Go ahead. 18. 
Uh, yes. Uh, we have an engineer in the group. Somebody hey. has actually been on Survivor. Uh, you managed to create... Make it on alone. Oh, that one's gonna. I'm gonna need some mental bleach for that one. Uh, you guys uh, perform an area large enough for seven. Yes. Uh, and are able to lash your zonkies and or lizard creature. Uh, you know what? Uh, after traveling with you for a day, Phineas uh, Souza Latrec is going to call his mount Woman Fang. <laughs> I, oh, yeah, he's getting killed. He's getting killed. Just, it is an homage, my friend. <laughs> it is a blue sheet, my friend. Uh, as you finish up your uh, nice right. little hut, go ahead. Real quick question. Though. The zonkeys are too big for the lizard to eat, though, right? Uh, yeah, it would give them indigestion. Okay. Let me just out, outside the game mode for a second. Sure. You're purposely trying to make this no more obnoxious than copious, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is it working? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My, my NPCs are nothing if they are not memorable. Uh, you will go to your graves remembering this <laughs> abusive gnome. Uh, as you finish it up... Uh, Phineas Latrec is the first one to leap forward on it. I proclaim this satisfactory for my requirements. You <sighs> sleep on your mount? Oh no, that thing stinks. Here, mm -hmm. smell this. <laughs> <laughs> Here, smell my feet. You know what? I'm going to get on the other end of it. Who's going to take first watch? I'll take first watch. Second I'll watch? Take, I'll take second. Third watch? Copious? Uh, you know what? I like my food hot. Can we build a fire? No. Why not? Uh, there's nothing dry here to light a fire with. Somebody's got extra clothes, right, Copious? Uh, let's just light it. <laughs> I'm going to go up quietly to Copious and kind of whisper, is there, be patient, wait until we get to the ruins. Copious, do you have extra clothes to burn? I do not, but thank no. you for asking and inquiring oh. after my health, Robert. Wait, don't you have like a zither or something that's made out of wood? Maxi shirt. Actually, he's starting to shake, uh, you know, because he's got that water on there. He's getting swamp ass. <laughs> Monkey butt. I think he's getting pissed off is what he's getting. Hey, <laughs> the dice give us and the dice take it away. That wasn't Phineas's fault. <laughs> before, before we uh, all have settled out, I, I am going to go up to Haggis, Crapstain, and Felix. And, and I, I, I presume we are all aware that they imbibe some sort of substance that caused some issues the day before. I'm going to ask them if they have any substances on their person that could create uh, similar situations and would they be willing to part with a, a portion of that before, before they settle down for bed, <laughs> but I'm doing it very quietly, very subtly away from the rest of the members of the party. That's fine. And, Phineas is practicing his musical instrumentation. Are you asking for some meowy wow? Well, I, I do like to pet the kitten. Just don't pull its tail. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not, your going, balls. not going to bite the tail. I may have some left over from my college days. Let me uh, check my bag. Yes, I do happen to have just a little bit. Could I could I uh, part with just <laughs> he's got a ton of bail? <laughs> I, it's just a little bit. It brings out a three pound brick. So I'm I'm gonna look over at the Gila monster and then go mm, could I have about this much and I gotta tell you though this stuff was expensive I'll sell Make it to it you worth your while it was 40 gold pieces fine I'll give you five give me a chunk I had five meaning 50 five gold no no 
That's one eight. Forty. The whole block was forty, right? No, the the little piece that I have was forty. Uh, the, I'll tell you what. Give me. 20. I'm going to give it all to you because in order for it to work, you got to have enough of it. You know what I'm saying? I do. How about twenty? <laughs> I'm not going to sell it to you for a lot. <laughs> you know, I bought this for me to enjoy out here in nature so I can connect I, with Mother Earth. I trust, I, I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy what happens next. The DEA is going to trade your 30. 30, and we'll do. 25, we'll call it a day. Give me 30. I don't know that I have 30 left after working with the shysters in this group. I uh, know. It's. Okay, if we can't, then I'll go back to right, the, uh, about this. Everybody Bail perception check. And Felix, you know this stuff grows wild out here, don't you? Natural 20. I have an idea with 17. 18. Nine. Nine. I have no idea what they're the drug feeling going up. Argus, Leaf, and Robert, you notice the annoying flute slash tuba music. Oh. has stopped oh. you look over and a large serpent has entwined your guide <laughs> god damn it i'm just torn oh, not my weapon sam get another great axe and i chop that sucker in half after we're done we got to start a fire because i ain't letting this food go to waste uh as you move over towards phineas armed to the teeth the eyes just grow <laughs> as uh, he realizes that if you hit too hard, you're gonna hurt him. <laughs> uh, I never thought about that. I'm gonna draw my. I'm gonna draw my scimitar. I'm just doing what I know to do. I gotta protect. Phineas, don't move. This is just like that one episode of Our Wars where he has to shoot the tongue and you know, aim a little higher. If only I could play. Uh... The William Tell Overture at this point in time. <laughs> I'm running and swinging. Uh, he is on the pallet that you have created. Uh, yeah. So you're going to have to <clears throat> leap up a short leap, DC 10 or better to do that successfully. And then you will need to uh, strike said giant constrictor snake with an AC of 12. Well, what, so you got to what? Roll twice? Got to roll twice. First, you got to get up on the pallet. So that's a 10. I got that. And then you got to roll to hit. Correct. Nin natural 19. I'm there. Piece cake. Although, you do cut awful deep. <laughs> I would, is it wrapped around him or is it like strung out somewhere, wrapped around him? So the whole serpent is all around him. Okay. Okay. The okay. The head is down by his feet, so it came in off the tree, encircled his mouth, uh, muting out the flute, well, and quickly... Foot, they might accept that either way. I'm hanging for the head. Don't yield them. Hey, you can lose a foot and live. We just got to cauterize it afterwards, which Don't. we need to do a fire, copious. Uh, you hit it with a 19. Go ahead and give me damage. You'll want to avoid ones and 20s. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I missed the 20. I did uh, nine points of damage. Okay. Uh, the snake is pissed. Uh, let's see. Right. Noodle, you were uh, make your leap of faith up onto the platform. Roll. 10 Roll. or better. That's not a 10. He slammed into the side of the pallet. Yep. New round, I am automatically going to hit Phineas Latrec, but we'll do initiative for everybody anyway. I'll go last. 18, roll your dice. God 12. Dang. He rolled a four. Noodles, four. One, one and copious. One. <laughs> Phoenix was a one. Oh my god. I can't think you well, guys are I think, yeah, I think you guys are fudging your dice. <laughs> <So, laughs> I was uh, trying to negotiate a deal here. I'm not paying attention to that. Uh Robert, you beat the 17 that the snake did, so uh 
Yeah, yeah so, so I don't have to roll to get on the pallet, though, right? You are on the pallet. Okay. You're good to go. So that is 20-something to hit. We're golden there. Was that a nat 20? No, it was a 16-plus. Oh. Okay, very good. Uh, and then 11 points of damage back towards the head again. At 20, I am going to do... Let's see if I can break grapple. I cannot break grapple. Uh, Robert, you being the closest, you can actually see your guide's eyes bulging out. You guys might not get a chance to kill him. Uh, next up is the 12. Haggis Crapstain. Those eyes are spongy. It's like snowballs from uh, Dolly Madison. So Ooh, I, have to, I have to get on top of a, of a, of a, of a platform, up. then then attack. So you got to roll 10 or better to get onto the platform or use oh, Noodle's head as a stepping stone. Right. <laughs> 18. You are on top of the platform next to Robert of Zeppelin and the entwined Phineas... Uh, the track. So I can you, take I can take my short sword and just start going in there, right? Yes, you want to avoid natural 20s and natural ones. Either will either do damage straight up to Phineas or do damage to both the snake and Phineas. Which wouldn't be such a bad thing. But 18. Again. Close. Uh, you slash pretty good. Uh, not good enough to hit Phineas, who is now. Ooh, ooh How much damage do you do? Nine damage. Twenty-nine total. Uh, next up is the six copious V bitters. You notice a disturbance uh, while you are in negotiation. Look over and see the debacle that is taking place. Yeah, I'm good. I'm going to keep working things out with Felix. Fair enough. Uh, Noodle, stand up, brush yourself off, make your leap ten or better. Oh my God! Stop! <laughs> he hit the side of the pallet again. Game sucked. It's just sad. A uh, natural one, Felix. Uh, Copius is still deeply entrenched in his belief that he's offering a fair price. Yeah, I'll keep negotiating with him and say, "All right, fine. Twenty-five gold pieces. Do we have a deal? Yeah. What All right. Deal? Give me a chunk of uh, the, the yep. powder. Here. I'll give you one hit of it. Oh God. Now, I... <laughs> Robert, you're up. Uh, I didn't get to go. I had oh, one. I'm sorry. I oh, that's right. Yeah, I put a minus sign for you since you volunteered to go last. Well, I was been standing debating on whether I wanted to try this huge leap up onto this thing. I can understand that. You are up, Lee. And I wrote exactly 10. You land on the pallet, which the construction is incredible. 20. We want to... Yep. 15. 15's good enough to hit the snake. Uh, we did 7. 36. You're hacking away. Somebody's going to have boots. Robert, you're up. Uh, 16 plus. So I hit. Not a natural 20. I don't need that one. 10 points of damage. Bolstered by the significant uh, damage done by his associates, the grapple is now broken. Uh, you see Phineas Latrec fall off your balcony. <gasps> uh, and the snake will go after one, two, three, four. Uh, if if it's a three, it's going after Noodle at advantage. <laughs> Just as you poke your head up. It is a three. So as you poke your head up, the snake uh, fangs you. 15 plus six is 21. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. DC 16 to avoid being grappled by it. Yep, roll 16 or better. Is the attack a straight oh, physical geez. attack or is it poison? With physical. Yeah, just physical. He rolled a 19. Uh, you manage to put up your hand so that you only take four hit points of damage from its fangs as they rake you, and you are not grappled. So kudos to you. Phineas begins to yell, Jesus Christ, kill that thing! Uh, next up is the 12, Haggis Crapstain, who is up on the platform. Is, is the snake not on the platform anymore? It is draped all the way across the platform with its fangs in man fang. Oh. Oh. Apparently. I'm going to wear it as a necklace. Okay, I uh, hit it. 19. <laughs> 12 damage. Haggis beheads the snake. Everybody roll a d20 for your mount. A one means you got to go chase in your mount. 15. 13. We're going to roll better than a one. Seven. Leaf and copious. Uh, 13. And then you question. Just, damn it. 20. For uh, Latrec is on the ground, correct? Mm -hmm. Is his musical instrument sitting on the platform? Roll against me, D12. Eight. It's no chips. Huh? Eleven. It is. I'm going to make it disappear. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Phineas oh. Latrec is doing the low crawl through the military basic training. He comes up right next to Man Fang, so the far side of it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Did you see what that thing did? Holy I know God. it was so crazy, man. It just—it was crazy in your eyes. It must have hurt, man. How do I feel? It hurt a lot. Haggis, uh, Robert, uh, you guys did the most damage to it. Uh, the prize is yours. Uh, Phineas looks at it and says, that's good eating right there. We need a fire. I'm going to skin it. Skin it. Give me animal handling better than 15. How about a natural 19? Uh, you skin it quite well. You don't even damage the meat. Ooh, Who's good. building the fire? I got a wooden pockmarked duck cane I'm going to break up and start what? a fire with. Wow. Yeah, I just believe. light some of this old bamboo. Can I keep the head? I, I'm starting with something. Oh, but, and I have a tinder box to start that. If I, if I like start taking teeth out, is there any like poison or any, any interesting teeth. liquid? Those are my teeth. I want those teeth. Those teeth are in him, and he may claim to them earlier. I want. Teeth. Oh, they might be poison. <laughs> <laughs> Gingivitis, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, yes, you can have the head. Robert of Zeppelin has a very nice, long, eight-foot pelt, uh, carefully uh, torn from the body. You guys can make the fire. Phineas. Uh, has burst blood vessels in his eyes, giving him a red, evil look. Well, he has Phineas, not... you look like you need a healer, Phineas. I, I, I you know what? I could use uh, a little help, and uh, I would like to thank Haggis and uh, Robert for uh, your brave reaction at saving my life. Uh, seven you probably points. ought to see if one of them will heal you then. I just did for seven points. He's feeling a whole lot better, but he's still got the uh, Sorry, nine blood points. I've nine points. Twice. He's only got bloodshot eyes in one now. Uh, he has not noticed the missing musical instrument. He is still uh, cataloging the events of his life as he just witnessed them going by. Uh, the fire is made. Are you cooking vittles or are you cooking the snake? I'm cooking snake. Who wants to eat snake? Phineas will. Oh, eat snake. Hey, uh, while Robert's busy with the snake, I'm going to break the musical instrument and put it in his tack with his saddlebags. Robert's, Robert's tack? Yes. All right, that's fair enough. Uh, everybody roll a constitution check, see how you like it. The higher the number, the more you like it. Vinius loves it. 13. 15. Sorry. 18. Highest roll of the night. 
Oh, that's pretty good. Six. <clears throat> Finney, good. Finney's got a 17. He's he's digging the snake. This, this is delicious. This is this is very good. This is you know what? This is friendship right here. I, I'm feeling a <laughs> lot of love in this circle. Uh after that, uh nobody lost their zonkey. The uh woman fang uh didn't bat an eyelash, didn't give a crap, doesn't like snake, doesn't want snake, doesn't care. Uh through the course of the evening, woman fang will have gas. It is noxious. Uh, maybe a little bit of diarrhea, uh, giving an entirely new ambiance to the camp. Phineas will have Did no notice. That lizard, some bitters beer. I think <laughs> I'm. Uh, I would like to use my uh, woodsy like skills here to see if I can find some aromatic herbs nearby to throw on that fire. Uh, going alone or going with a partner? I'll go with him. Looks I like guess Haggis is going. You guys go out there. You start looking around. Give me a survival check. See if you find anything of note. Fifteen. Nineteen. Both of you find interesting, interesting colored items. Each of you give me an odd even, please. Even. Even. Is it nine or six? So you both got purple berries. Uh, you can make a medicine check or a survival check to see if they are edible or if they are dangerous to consumption. Are those one berries, night stalker berries? That's wisdom. Yep. Oh. Ten. What are we got? You have no idea. My wisdom is twenty. Why well, I have to roll? I'm a little Just confused on those. Uh, roll d twenty and then add your wisdom modifier plus five. That'd be 15. These these are edible. Anything I can throw on a fire to kill some put some of the stink? Uh, you know, they're going to be probiotic berries, so maybe if you feed them to the basilisk-esque uh, creature, it might tone down its intestinal issues. You have found some grape purple or grape Pepto-Bismol for it. <laughs> all right i'll help i'll help leaf feed the berries to the uh, yeah yeah <laughs> hey copious you want to help me feed these berries to that lizard i or, will uh, help or cut down on this gas problem he seems to be I'm, having i'm going to slip the meowie wowie into the berries as we're there going. you go and we're going to feed them to the lizard can i kill the lizard Twenty. <laughs> That's a nat twenty. You are really gonna like the results. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Are you guys turning in for the night? I'm still on watch, so I'm gonna watch. pretend to sleep, but I want to kind of see what happens. Well, uh, have you ever seen a cat when it's trying to scratch something off its lower? That is what Woman Fang is doing now. Uh, she apparently has an itch she cannot scratch, and she is just thumping into the ground because she is just tight on this. She is just <laughs> ready to go. Uh, I'm not sure what effect you thought it was going to have, but it seems to have had a very uplifting experience for it. Leaf... Uh, this damn thing might attract everything in the jungle. Yeah. I'm uh, going gonna, gonna to wake up Phineas. Uh, Phineas, something wrong with your damn lizard. Take care of it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bring shit we don't want over here. Okay. What do, what do you... I haven't owned a lizard. What do you want me to do? I don't care. It's your lizard. It's your problem. Take care of it. If nothing else, ride the thing on out into the jungle a little bit. So it's not around us. Kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of wear off its energy. Yeah, kind of wear it off. Yeah. Okay. Around the jungle. Uh, he mounts up. 
takes off through the jungle as he gets out to the yep. edge of the light. You see him do a hard left, and he is just going to Roman amphitheater this thing. <laughs> Just, just attracting for, nothing. For clarification, who mounted who when he went out there to the monster? <laughs> he he mounted his Gila monster, <laughs> and uh, he he takes it a couple laps. It kind of, how much uh, Maui Wowie did you give him? About half of what I got from uh, Felix, which was one dose. One okay. dose, yeah. So. A yeah. dose from the Gila monster, though, right? Mm -hmm. Slower metabolism, but you you wouldn't know it by its speed. It it's really picked up its pace. So, Leaf, for the next hour, <laughs> I'm going to build the fire up a little bit too while it's uh, out uh, there doing this shit. You hear not quite bird sounds, but something's moving around. Uh, every once in a while, you'll catch a flicker from an eyeball hiding in the edge. Uh, but after an hour, the Gila monster is really uh, tired and it kind of limps back in and collapses underneath the uh, platform built by Robert of Zeppelin, Navy CB. And uh, it just collapses in a heap. Phineas is exhausted. He crawls up. And he also uh, starts to snore a little bit. Uh, All right. uh, Leaf, the rest of your watch is uneventful as you patrol the perimeter. Uh, the zonkeys do not move. They do not whinny. Uh, and it is your opinion that uh, they don't care about whatever the hell is moving around out in the jungle. Uh, your watch is starting to come to an end, and that brings us to Robert. I'll wake, wake Robert up and build the fire up. Wake Robert up, tell him it's his watch, and tell him what happened with the the lizard. Any any thoughts on that, Robert? I don't know a damn thing about lizards. I wait. I do have animal handling. I guess I could. Check my skill to see if I know anything about the damn lizard, why it would do that. Seems bloated. Uh, and its gas is now emitting an entirely different scent, almost no scent, a little bit of a hint of coconut, uh, because the probiotic uh, grapes given to him by the oh, yeah. druid seem to have pacified the noxious vapors that he had. Uh, but you cannot tell what made him run. Maybe it was I rolled, the I rolled a natural 20 on animal handling, so I don't know if and that I, helps me with anything. This I, thing is tired. Just I, bone I, tired. Out damn lizard. Uh, as you continue your watch, uh, you also hear scurrying, uh, a little bit of movement in the jungle. You hear some splashing in the creek not too far away. Uh, not like a horde of uh, cannibals or anything, but certainly something is moving around out there. Uh, I assume you continue to build up the fire with what little dry bamboo you can get. Sure. I mean, I have dark vision, so. Yeah, you, uh, you can actually step outside the range of the fire uh, and you'll catch heat sources every once in a while. Small, uh, nothing large. Uh, you also notice something is moving about in the trees, uh, smaller, maybe rhesus monkey size, uh, oh. well known for their poop flinging ability. Uh, mm -hmm. But your uh, watch passes uneventfully as well. All right. I'll wake up and do the same. Stoke the fire, wake up the next. Opius is next. Uh, Copious, you're groggy to say the least, but at least you, you're feeling a little bit refreshed. You uh, take the sideways glance at the Gila monster. Uh, you notice that it is uh, breathing heavy, but rhythmically. Uh, every once in a while, you hear a toot uh, that smells like coconuts for some reason. Uh, and you also see things moving about. Uh, you do not hear any splashes. But you notice that the zonkeys are, are starting to become slightly, slightly skittish. Uh, nothing major, 
but you know, uh, they're starting to become skittish. As the sun begins to rise over the jungle uh, and the shadows start to dance, you realize it's time to wake everybody. I will walk around and wake everyone. Rise and shine, sleeping beauties. Everyone? Okay. Except for the little gnome. Okay. I'll wake everyone else up. Uh, everybody's alive. Everybody has all their shit. All right. I'll wake up the gnome. Oh, man. I'll go get uh, his breakfast. You, you, sir, are my hero. You, you know how to take care of your people. No, you and that lizard, you're something special. I, uh, I can't thank you enough again, you and uh, the young illustrious Haggis, for saving my life. Uh, you notice that the bloodshot problem has diminished extensively. He's just got a few spider veins in there uh, from the concussion damage that he suffered. I'll go get his breakfast to heart attack now. Oh. Is there any of that, any of that snake left? I'm going to cook up some snake and eat it for breakfast. Uh, sure, I'll say you guys ate... Uh, there's 27% left. Oh, I'll save some rations and eat some snake, man. Okay. Uh, no need to re-roll. Whatever your constitution was uh, still applies today. Oh, yeah. uh, Phineas watches you eat the snake, and he's like, that's, that's, that's more of an evening meal to be served with <laughs> Uh He eats the hardtack uh, happily. Uh, and you notice that while you guys are getting your belongings ready and you are eating, he is going around and marking uh, the areas around the camp up to the river's edge. Uh, at the river's edge, he makes an X. I want to ask, uh, who's broken shits in my tack bag? <laughs> broken shit. I'm gonna hold it up. Whose shit is this? Why is it in my bag? Hey, that's my pipe. Why'd you put your broken ass pipe in my bag? The snake ate it. The snake ate it. Yeah, I lost it when it was crushing me. Oh, well, how did it end up in my tack bag? I don't know. I would like to know that myself. How did this? end up in a tack bag. Uh -huh. He looks at Haggis and says, do you know anything about my pipe finding its way into uh, Robert's bag? No. Mm. I like there's, this, there's some cannibals like around here, so it could have been one of them. Oh, so you're saying either Lee <laughs> or Lupius <laughs> let cannibals into the camp and didn't tell anybody? One it makes oh well, it makes sense. Maybe Robert did it, and he's throwing off his innocence by bringing it to the forefront. <laughs> uh, Phineas, is, Phineas is sad. I, I I would pretty much just tell you straight up. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna take this from a PG thirteen to a rated R, bitches. Uh, the, uh, Phineas looks over his pipe, announces that it is a total loss, blows on the tip of it. It gives off a weak squeal that uh, bothers the zonkies and chucks it into the river. Do I notice any that so that is there any shit or blood or stuff on my heart tack now? It just looked like the flute or pipe, whatever the hell it was. Yep, because it was stuck on the platform uh, and the snake's head was cut off. So oh. I'm just inquiring. Like a, like, a, like a wine ball? Yep, nope, it's fine. <laughs> uh, Phineas mounts up after having his heart, heart attack and says, uh, well, we doing this or not? Let's go. I think it's going to be a gorgeous day. I'm going to uh, take a couple broken chunks of bamboo tie him up on the back of my zonkey to let him dry out. Cool. Uh, about an hour into it, a thunderstorm hits. Son of a bitch, I just dried this shit out. That's why I said it's going to be a beautiful day. 
you're just, you're just the evil. Uh, you know what? I had that plan before he said I'm taking the bamboo. Now. I actually have it written down. <laughs> Fuck with them with thunderstorm. Uh, it, 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 it rains all day, soaking you guys. I mean, this is horrible. If there is a silver lining, it's the fact that it's hot and steamy. <laughs> it is just miserable. Uh, your zonkies are slowed by the muddy uh, terrain. Uh, Woman Fang is not slowed at all. It continues to lumber forward. Whoa. Uh, but uh, it, it is not a good day. Uh, one might even call it blustery. Uh, about lost and fall off the trail. No, he, he found his way back on the trail. Oh, he just had to take a pit stop. Or copious goes chasing our Cena. Uh, copious uh, fell into the river again, probably. Oh, damn it. Now, who's this guy? This is Jason or Cena. Uh, everybody give me an investigation check as you plod through the rain. Well, four. Are you a minus? Yeah, I'm a minus. 14. 16. 7. 15. Copious, Haggis, Felix, you begin to notice there are marks on this trail times three. Do those resemble the similar markings that we've watched Phineas do elsewhere? They don't these, these would be horizontal, angular, Vertical. These appear to be animalistic tendencies. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, as you no, 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 no cats scratch stuff like up and down so they can sharpen their claws. Yep, kind of like that. As a matter of fact, you have the end off hat on. Mm -hmm. uh, as it's pointed out to Man Fang, he begins to notice and thirteen plus four does a seventeen hit you? 17? Yeah. One point. One. Yep. One point. A big old glob of mud that's not really mud hits you squarely in the face. The one and, thing you can always count on with a prank <laughs> somebody's getting hit with shit. <laughs> You've been pooped. <laughs> Great. I'm just going to wipe it off and throw out the lizard. Nope. Three, three foot tall monkeys. Uh, which seem yeah. to be exuberant in their evac duties, uh, do not take kindly to you guys entering their domain, and they began to fling poo at each of you. Felix, 19 plus. <coughs> August, natural one. Robert, seven plus four, 11. Copious, six plus four, 10. Leaf, 8 plus 4, 12. I think the only other one I got was Felix. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Phineas. Phineas is also hit, 13 plus 4, 17. And he takes two fingers, wipes it off. That's it. Smacks his mount and up. Oh, the tree it goes. You see monkeys scattering everywhere <laughs> as this stupid lizard creature gets up to the top and is looking around at one of the three trees these monkeys have skittered off to. Good news, nobody else is getting poop flung at them because those monkeys are scared shitless. Phineas, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, I had to say it. Phineas, yeah. uh, Phineas is screaming. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cannot control his mount. Uh, and it eyeballs the north tree. Leaps with a natural 20 again, uh, scattering more monkeys, but catching one in its tongue and ingesting it causing all of the monkeys in this region to screech angrily at seeing one of their own kin eaten by the giant tree climbing lizard commanded by the noble general <laughs> Phineas Lutrec. Uh, as the monkeys scatter, 
they do not appear to be a bigger problem. But Phineas, now that his mount is uh, calmed down a bit, looks out and he goes, ha, huh, that thing is tall. What's tall? Oh, temple that we uh, investigated. Man, that just cuts through the tree canopy. How far away? Mm, three, four days at least. But that big old diamond on top is sure is sparkling. Say again. Squeeze me. I said there's a big old diamond on the top of the temple. And it's shining. I can see it. Ooh, howdy. All right, boys. We're splitting that bad boy. Uh, you guys might want to get weapons ready. Okay. Everybody, well, everybody roll initiative. That 21. Was. 14. 21. 14. 22. 11. 16. Leaf rolls a four. I natural one it. Uh, a loud disturbance comes through the underbrush. You hear water splashing about, and lizard men make an appearance. There is My one for each of you. Oh, Ooh, more skin. Uh, let's see, lizard folk. There they are. Uh, we will start with the 22 copious V bitters. You have a lizard uh, folk. Armed with a javelin headed right towards you. Agonizing blast. Huh? Is that my save or you to hit? Uh, it's my to hit. Okay. And I hit with a 23. Yep. 15 is your magic number for these creatures. Okay. Da, da, da. Wait, what's the damage? Jesus. Okay. Six points. Still up. 21. That's me. Can you? Yeah, thanks. Uh, nat 20. Nice. Damage, damage, and then your modifiers. Ooh. <laughs> 16 plus modifier, 21 points. Wow. Barely alive. Uh, 16. Hagas. Okay. Are, how how close are they to? They are charging you, maybe within nine feet. Okay, well, I'll uh, slash at the first dude, whoever's closest. Seventeen. Hit. Nine damage. Uh, fourteen man fang. Nah, that's just don't even bother. Not a uh, one, not worth the call. Uh, 11, Felix. Better roll. Not all uh, dice anymore. Just dice. I'll take a shot at him with a bone arrow. 16 for 7 plus 3, 10 damage. Nicely done. Last but not least, 4, Leaf. <laughs> all right. Charge it. I'm going to throw my javelin at it. Okay. Hopefully I won't roll another one. <laughs> or, or not. I mean. Hey, whatever. Oh, natural 20. Ooh, nicely done. Damage, damage, and modifiers. I wish it did more damage. <laughs> damage and damage. Uh, six. That's six. That's it. And that's six. There you go. Uh, and my modifier is plus one, so 13. Four, uh, 13 just modifier. Roll, ones. roll, okay. plus modifier. Yeah, just the yeah, modifier okay. ones. 13. Uh, lizard folk, uh, on Felix, six plus four is 10. On Hoggis, five plus four is nine. On Robert, three oh. plus four is seven. Man Fang. Nat 20, third of the night. Uh, copious, 17 plus 4, 21. And Leaf, 15 plus 4 is 19. Yeah, I think that hits. Uh, D6 plus 2. 
Uh, four damage to everybody I hit, but Felix, a coconut goes whizzing just over your shoulder, plowing mm. into the lizard folk for uh, 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 three hit points of damage. Uh, your guardian angel up in the tree has collected a few coconuts and he's helping the team. Uh, top of the order, copious fee bitters, 22. Um, from when I got hit last time, I would have, I want to cast Hellish Rebuke and then cast Agonizing Blast if it's still on its feet afterwards. DC sure. 14 for the Hellish Rebuke. Uh, no, I fail. That's a four on the roll. So four, ten. 14 points of damage from Hellish Rebuke. It is still on its feet. So I'm going to try to cast uh, Agonizing Blast at 24. And then I did eight more points. Copiuses is the first to fall. Robert of Zeppelin, or I'm sorry. Yeah, Robert of Zeppelin with 21. You're up. Uh, 18. 18 hits. Uh, nine points of damage. Roberts is the second to fall. Same round. Uh, 16. Haggis. Okay. Uh, net 20. Nice. Damage, damage, and modifier. Awesome. Damage, damage. <laughs> oh, so I do it twice. Okay. 10. Another 10. Any modifiers? No, those were the... Uh, uh, lop lops off his head. Uh, the third one down. 14, man fang against the uninjured one. Let's try and see if I can hit it this time. Mm. <laughs> this game. So wait, 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 wait. What, what's it take to hit? 15. No, you missed. You had, what, a five? 11. Felix. He hit. He hit. Oh, oh, did he hit? Firing another bow and arrow at it. So I hit with. All your damage. Uh, six plus three, nine damage. Down. Die 10. Just barely. Yeah. He hit, Frank. How much damage? He's, oh my goodness, son. Die 10, right here. Plus eight. That's eight Eight points of damage. I hit it. Eight One. total. Yes. It's like pulling teeth, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, next up, Leaf the Druid. Wait. Oh, boy. That's your hit dice. Uh, that's your damage. Uh, not natural. 20. You can't just leave it as is. And a sucky four points. He's still alive. <laughs> Copious. A coconut comes flying out of the air passes just over your head and hits your already dead lizard folk in the face, chipping off its fang. Uh, I nearly saved you. I, uh, do I hear that being called out from the treetops? You're welcome. Do I hear that? <laughs> no, because uh, he threw it just as you killed him. So okay. uh, he, he's not going to accept responsibility. Man fang. Seven plus four is 11. Leaf. 13 plus 4, 17. Yeah, you hit me. Uh, five hit points of damage as it two hands its javelin into your arm. Uh, final round. Copious V bitters. Yours is dead. I'm going to summon my pack weapon and move up behind the nearest uh, lizard man still attacking one of the party. Odd uh, man fang, even druid. Two druid. Uh, you will have enough time to attack if you want. Oh, this round? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I will attack with uh, the pack. My, it's a short sword. Yes, yeah, so you guys so, are still, you know. Close enough. Close enough. 20. Hits. Third. Uh, 10 points. Dead. Uh, Robert Zeppelin. 
Wait, I, left. who was it? I, whose lizard man did I kill? Leaf. Okay, I'm going to call out your welcome because it's a gnome thing. It's not just a finish. Okay. Moving I'm going to reply, thank you. <laughs> Robert uh, Zeppelin. Go to the next one. Uh, that's uh, right next to you, Robert's or er, Noodle. 20 something I hit. Good. Not good damage. Seven damage. Not good damage at all. Uh, Haggis. <coughs> Where are the other, other one? Who, who's fighting the one on man one Fang and uh, give me an investigation. 16. Uh, across the river, you notice three more and a much larger one <laughs> as, as they watch and retreat back into the jungle. So they're retreating? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'll, I'll attack the one on Man Fang. Get him right. <laughs> 10. To hit? Yeah. Nope. Uh, 14. Man Fang. Yours is the All only right. one left. Whoa! Okay. 17. Yeah, that's a hit. Off your, bouncing off your arm does nothing, Dad. Why didn't you help? Well, no, you also have plus five, so that's six points. Dad, bouncing it off your arm doesn't help, Dad. Do six that. points of damage. Don't hit my arm with it, then. Felix. Or, yes, Felix. No, it, it's me, but I, I missed. Okay. Uh, Leaf. Muted. Mute. Mute. Muted. I'm going to tell his grandmother you flipped him off. I don't care. I you know, it's flipping him off. <laughs> I missed. Aimed at me. Uh, one to five, I'm going to surrender. Otherwise, I'm hitting Man Fang in the face. Surrender? Surrender is not in our creed. I'm going to hit him. Leave, take no witnesses. Hello. Uh, oh, 18, man. get you, Man Fang? Yeah. Take three hit points of damage. You're down seven, son. <laughs> and a coconut goes airborne and gonna... kills your lizard <laughs> man. And we hear a voice. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was it. It's a gnome thing. Uh, and then the lizard climbs down the tree. Uh, I'm going to skin these lizard pit men. Okay. Uh, uh, right doing uh, clarify, you, these are sentient creatures, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah these are the same creatures that uh, your man fang is, right? No, he's a dragonborn. Oh, yeah, dragonborn. dragonborn. Okay. okay. Uh, because they are sentient, sixteen on your animal handling skill. Otherwise, you mutilate the corpse. Natural twenty. That's one. Yeah, keep going, Robert. Don't stop. I want some underwear. Sixteen on the next. That's two. Ooh, six on the next one. That ain't gonna work. Sixteen on the next. Three. Two on the next one. Fail. Oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, well, I only need half a body though. You got some skin, and the the heads are still there, so you can put them up on pikes. Um, except for one head. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking lizard! <laughs> oh man! Yeah, I hope you can find more purple berries. Uh, because oh, that thing's man. gonna give him some indigestion. Uh, each of these creatures did have. Uh, gold? Nope. Shells or uh, you know what? Let's go with uh, shitty gemstones, citrine gemstones. Uh, about forty-seven total gold pieces worth of citrines. I'll take them. Oh, you're just gonna take them all, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. I mean, you know, yours was the last to die, and it had yeah. to be killed by a gnome riding a lizard. But you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, as Phineas Latrec grounds himself, he points out, well, we certainly taught them a lesson. <laughs> yes, we did. You, my fine sir. Hey, Do you see me hit two of those guys? 
Yes, I did. Okay. I'm not even left-handed, and I got him. Finish. I guess. Kind of like. I guess it. sometimes gnomes are worth more than they appear. No, they're not. <laughs> You're kind of a shithead, there, no, Phineas. Are you? Big. Are you a? Sh he's are you great. a shit face? He's a great shot, man. He's a great shot, man. My, I, I must confess, my lizard did give me a kiss, and I'm, I'm seeing some colors. Well, you had, <laughs> you got, you got a little something here. Right here, or or right here. Well, more here, of, but not here. And here, but not so much here. <laughs> Fair like enough. Is that a mud mask? <laughs> the good, the good news is the rain has intensified, and lightning lashes across the sky. <laughs> Everything is a giant mud oh. pit. And again, <sighs> Mark in his territory. Mark in his territory. Just, it, just out of curiosity, uh, do, for any of us, have we looked at these markings and aside from a slash, do they look like they have any particular meaning, any particular symbolism to what he's doing, or is it literally just a hack? Just no, a hack. Is he tagging? He, he is tagging the trees in the event that, you know, a quick exit is required. Any good frontiersman would know you got to mark your trail. And since I can't obviously use ink and paper in this environment, one does what one can. And is this the same trip? Have we seen these markings like what he's making on the way through and he's remarking them? Or is this brand new markings every time? On occasion, you have spotted old markings, maybe a week or two old. And uh, Phineas, did you make these other marks we've seen, or are those from other adventurers? They aren't mine. Okay, thank you. That's where <laughs> I got the idea. I cannot take credit for every brilliant idea. Did you learn something, Copious? Let's just say I confirmed that he's an idiot. And he can be taken out at any point. We have our guide on the trees already. It's a known thing. I know, Jason. Uh -huh. They're idiots. He, he will explain that uh, you need to continue to follow the river. He thinks, I think, I, I, I think we're on the right side of the river. I, I think we were on the right side. You were just in a tree looking at the temple. How can you not know if we're on the right side? There is a large uh, canopy of vegetation here, my friend. Uh, we are clearly on the right path. Uh, I, however, cannot see the river through the trees. Which uh, direction is the temple? There you go. Oh, there's no question, zero question that we are headed for the temple. I called it the Temple of Light when I was there last time. Why did you call it the Temple of Lightning? Light, because light ricochets light. off the diamond facets of the... And how much would you say that diamond's worth? I did not have enough time to go ahead and investigate it closely enough before one of our retinue fell ill and had to be <clears throat> taken into custody before he killed the rest of us. Right. Mm -hmm. that, that's a key point, but does anyone here feel very strongly that they're a great climber? Could climb one of these trees and look for the temple. Am I a great climber? Or I don't think they are. I think we're back to climbers. A couple of folks scamper up the tree. I, I'm I'm sure I, I'll try it. I can do it. I got a plus seven athletic. I got agility. That's crap for going up. I am not going to stand at the base of the tree and catch any of them. When but I listen, I got spider climb. It wouldn't be a problem, I don't think, for me to climb up this tree. Right, there you go. Spider That's climb sounds like a great trip. I rolled a 26 to climb the tree. Okay, uh, Leaf, uh, my my good friend, would you like to take my mount up? Take your Rather knob. My mount without. Oh, your mount? No. Yeah, no. don't wait. Don't wait. No. I, I ain't riding that thing again. Okay. Uh, Robert, you uh, make your way up. Uh, you find another coconut tree, uh, and you look around. Uh, give me an insight check to make sure you're looking in the right spot. Seventeen. As lightning forks across the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I won't climb. <laughs> that was a beautiful oh. idea, Cody. Oh I'm glad God. I didn't have to push that. Uh, yeah. It strikes a nearby tree, Robert, and you suddenly realize, holy shit, 
that little gnome sent me up here in the middle of a lightning storm. I'm going to get freaking killed. Ooh, there's something sparkly over there. Okay. I'm going to scream there could be only one and get down the tree. <laughs> it hits the top of your tree as you are scampering down, showering everybody with coconuts. Because uh, they away from the tree, right? Not straight down. Correct. It just... Uh, one of the coconuts is headed towards six, leaf, and the other is headed towards five, copious. What do I have to do to catch it? Did this tree have uh, Would you like to catch a bullet? <laughs> <laughs> I, I will give you... If you want to catch it harmlessly... Yeah. 18 and above. Boy, that ain't going to happen, is it? Athletics or dexterity? How about to dodge it? Same uh, thing. I'll give you 15 or above. I'll dodge it. Maybe. Maybe. I'll use athletics. 15. Without you putting dodge. a plus on it. Copious. Uh, Want to throw a little heat? Give me a heater. Give me the old number one. No, the heat. I'm okay with straight getting out of the way. Okay. I want to try and catch one. Oh, hell no. What was the magic number? The other side of your face. 15. Yeah, could we have a different magic number? <laughs> ah, you, you know what? D12 against me. I feel like I feel like I'm the eight ball and the billiard ball's on its way. Nine. Three. Uh, your dodging abilities absolutely <laughs> suck. And as this furry coconut comes screaming towards your skull, a look of fear transposes you and then a tongue <laughs> reaches out and <laughs> uh, unbeknownst to the lizard creature, coconuts don't taste good. It looks at you nondescriptly. Yeah, because it rolled a 15 to catch it. I don't think there was any more flying at anybody. Uh, no, they're, they're scattered about. Uh, the lightning will intensify. Uh, I'm just saying. First, if the coconut didn't break, I see any other ones laying around, I'm going to pick them up. Oh, yeah, there's a, a 14 of them lying around in various spots. You can tell where they're at because they're smoking. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll pick up a half dozen of them and pack them up. How many, how many more palm trees are around us? Oh, there's countless palm trees. We're in the middle of the jungle. So we're basically in a minefield of lightning bolts and freaking cannon fire. Yeah, pretty much. Correct. Uh, he can stay and pick up exploding cannon, cannonballs all he wants. I'm riding towards where the river direction the shelling freaking... Because we, nothing says safety like standing in water in a lightning storm. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We haven't seen any ridges rises. This is still all lowland, almost swamp, marshy area. The, the entire area is uh, until you get to your destination where the mountains are. And we got three days. Let's get moving. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna ask uh, Phineas. Phineas, last time you were through here, lightning storms. What did you do for shelter? Anything? Prayer, Mr. Savick. <laughs> Think of it this way. If we hurry, we'll make better time. Oh, You're boy. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm writing that one down. <laughs> uh, he is all in favor of uh, high tail and a hoose cow because I noticed that the storm was moving south to north. We need to keep heading south. Okay. Like the scene in Twister. We're trying to outrun the lightning storm. Good news is there's no cows. Yet. Yeah. Monkey. <clears throat> oh, no monkeys. That friggin' lizard scared the shit out of them. No monkeys. All right. Uh, uh, good news. The storm passes quickly uh, and ushers in nightfall. Uh, the sun seems to set within minutes 
Uh, you will not be able to prepare a campsite unless you do so under artificial light. Is that I got that. Intent? I've got dark vision. Does that matter? Yeah, you can see, but can you'll be laying on mud. Everybody, unless you don't want me to cast light, I got light spell. Last an hour, twenty foot circle. Yep, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, I think the jungle wants a blue light special. Say, so come here uh, to eat. That's perfect. I am. I'm going to put that. I'm going to just touch one of the trees in the center of where we're going to stay and make it a lamp. Are you going to make uh, the engineering marvel that you did last time? I'm going to attempt. At advantage, since you did it successfully the first time. If you successful this time, you will not roll anymore. Thank, thank God, because the first roll sucked. <laughs> not a fail, not a fumble, but I rolled a uh, natural 15. I didn't add anything. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you were able to strap together uh, bamboo sticks, uh, lightning bolt trees that have been shattered into splinters, and you were able to... Make another rise. Phineas pops up onto the rise again. Looking uh, for snakes. <laughs> looking for snakes. Uh, I, I, in all my ingenuity, I will put a little bean to over my rise. Oh, very nice. Up on it. Hey, Haggis, Haggis. After, after Phineas goes to sleep, just put the snake head next to his head. That's messed up. <laughs> what is that? Don Corleone. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, who's who's going to be my watchers? Leaf is first. Uh, Felix second, and Haggis third. <coughs> uh, Leaf, uh, in the hour that it takes, uh, you step out of the range of the light so that you can yep. see. Uh, you notice that there is a colony of giant ants uh and they are moving back and forth along the perimeter these things are about yay big uh at some point in time they do spot you but uh don't give a shit uh they look strong enough to carry off a small baby though okay uh the zonkeys are ill at ease in this location they are not fighting their tethers uh, the lean-to structure is successfully made. Phineas is probably going to be the last to fall asleep this time. Uh, fortunately, the Gila monster does not have gas this time around, so that's a plus. Uh, and a Leaf, same as the previous night before. You see a few eyes, you hear a few cackles. Uh, nothing. That's cool. Your watch has Got ended. It. Good enough. I'll wake up whoever's next. Robert? Felix. Felix. I'll wake up Felix. Uh, you do not have dark vision, correct? Correct. So uh, you're going to have to get the fire started. Uh, I do happen to have a torch with me, I think. Okay. So at least that'll be something I can use. Because I uh, imagine that's all the light I'm going to get for the night because all the wood around is wet. Me is so Mm -hmm. uh, you hear a loud roar uh, about midway through your watch. Uh, you've heard rumors of something called a lion uh, that inhibit, inhabit the jungle, and you think one is in the area. The zonkeys hear it, and they are not happy. Uh, woman Fang uh, farts and does not care. Uh, I heard the lion sleeps tonight, though. Not tonight, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, give me an investigation roll. Yeah, Having your constant is this foot on I'll rub mine on you. Ooh, not good. Uh, six. Yeah, you don't know where it's at. I think I'm going to have to wake up Leaf again with his dark vision and tell him that I just heard this and ask him if he can see anything. Risking exhaustion on the druid. Leaf, do you want to get up or you want to tell him to kiss off? You're trying to sleep. I get up and look. I ain't going to be able to fall back asleep Think something's coming to get me. You will be in exhaustion mode in day three. Your rolls will be a disadvantage for a day. Uh, yes, Leaf, you see the damn thing prowling around. It seems to be pacing back and forth for about an hour. 
then it disappears off into the jungle. You can try and get fitful sleep, and I'll let you roll against me to see if you're exhausted, or you can stay up for the entire No, time. hell no. I'm going to try to get some sleep. D12 against me. Uh, 11. Uh, three. You're going to be exhausted tomorrow. Uh, good news, Felix. Uh, the lion now sleeps tonight. You may wake up Haggis and uh, wish him good luck. Haggis, what race are you? Halfling. Halflings do not have dark vision, so you got any torches? Um, yeah, and I'll add to the fire. Oh, there's no fire. <laughs> oh, okay, then I'll just get out yeah. a flint and a steel and flint and steel it up and make a, and make a torch. It is a cold, damp, balmy night of 72 degrees, uh, and a fog is starting to set in on your watch. And things can be heard moving at the perimeter of your light. Heavy things. Things that snap branches kind of things. Like, okay. um, okay, like, can, can I just investigate? Certainly. You may wander off and investigate. <laughs> but, uh, um... <laughs> By I'll all stay. means, wander <laughs> off and go investigate while everybody sleeps. Uh, uh, everybody can, wakes up with their throat slit. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. Can, can I, I'll make, can I, well, it should be easier to make another torch if I want to, right? Because I already have a, a torch, so I can just get another torch, right? You if you have another put, torch, yeah. <laughs> Every, everything in the jungle is wet. You told me I that wasn't asleep. Sense. I couldn't get back to sleep, so I'm awake anyways. Well, okay, you, you uh, stayed awake during the second round. You're going to have okay. to get some kind of sleep. So I am finally getting some sleep. Okay. You're going to get Good. about four so hours alone. Make, one to make sure. Yep. So I'm up alone? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oof. And, and I um, believe you said you wanted to go investigate. I mean... <laughs> Come on, brave I'll, I'll, hero. <laughs> okay, what? all right, yeah. I'll 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 look a little. I'll put it a little bit in front of me. You know, I won't go too crazy. Watch my stealth. A little bit of stealth, but you know, look around a little bit. Yes. Oh, flaming light above your head. <laughs> Give me a stealth <laughs> roll. I'm so stupid. Now twenty. Uh, you managed to move about on the wet surface rather well and you notice the wispy vapors of fog are coming in and you hear a soft whistling noise almost enchanting <coughs> if you will uh you think better you take a few steps back and the fog comes in low and begins to blanket the ground underneath the construct platform where your associates sleep and where the basilisk esque creature slumbers and farts yet again. Was, uh, just um, out of curiosity of remembering what happened while we were in the city, does this fog look similar to the other fog that got over the bodies of the other? This looks natural. Uh, and you notice that the temperature is dropping uh accordingly so you presume while you are not a meteorologist you presume that this is a natural formation uh and not a magical issue well okay that just sounds that sounds pretty good no, it's, like i mean i think i mean <laughs> the dm would I, never lie to you ever yeah this sounds perfect i mean it could have just been a coconut fell down and that you know that made a this branch is, snap this is proof that his father should have made him watch excalibur morgana this is morgana fog <laughs> that's right Usvas <laughs> besud uh morning finally starts to cut in but it cannot break the fog uh it's going to be at least an hour or two uh the first one up is uh phineas <laughs> uh, did you leave the snake head uh, next to him? Yes, I believe I did. 
He shrieks like a child, falls off the platform as the head is kicked into the group uh, as he tries to skitter away, waking everyone up abruptly. Leaf has big old bags under his eyes and looks like he has had a rough night. Uh, but Haggis, standing there, douses his torch, is alive. Uh, and that brings us to the start of day three, which I think is a good stopping point. Uh, you guys can have breakfast and head on out. How about a little final thoughts, Frank Sr.? Well, this has been uh, <coughs> a real treat, going about as well as I expected it to. Especially the monkeys throwing poop and one more obnoxious gnome to deal with. You're so, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Jason, what'd you think? Trying to figure out what, what he means by one more obnoxious gnome. There's only ever been one obnoxious gnome. And there, were half a dozen, there were half a dozen of them in that city. Bitters. Bitters the third obnoxious gnome. Oh, bitters. Bitters. Uh, I, 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 I think that uh, the playthrough on this has been uh, it's an interesting evolution here of the Phineas Littrek <laughs> character. And the, and the new mount that I'm going to have by the time this adventure is over and or significant amounts of lizard steak. I'm not sure yet. I'd say it hurts me, but you know what? Kill him or let him live. You're always going to remember him. And that's what an NPC is. Uh, Frank Jr., what'd you think? I think I'm glad that uh, the fact that there was poop flung in this episode because it would not be a Frank adventure if somebody didn't get hit in the face with shit i agree so but i am liking the prog progression that we're going through I, I like the fact that one gnome's annoyed by another gnome who has a bigger ego than that one which we didn't think was ever possible i like the development of how bitter's beer gets you the shits and that song's developing it's, this is good this is good gaming i'm enjoying it <laughs> youngest frank it's great. It's fine. I have no real thoughts on it. Are, are you rolling D4s for your attacks? Cause <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. They're really just sucking big poopy. He's rolling D4 for every roll, because I don't think he rolled above a 7 tonight. Uh, brave Sir Haggis Crabstain, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. My favorite part was, I, wait, I'm alone? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, and last but not least, our uh, our our gambler who uh, only yes. got one gamble in the day. Uh, that's okay. I am very glad that we did not kill that lizard back before we left uh, play drill. <laughs> it has saved our butts several times out here in the jungle. And team players, team yeah. players, yeah, you're team. welcome. Team. I was able to turn a profit on the Meowie Wowie out here in the jungle of five gold pieces, far back alley drug dealing, real far. Right. Folks, entrepreneurs are us, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah. thanks yeah. for watching the Margu campaign. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap, it's down there. If you want to go to Discord, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want a seat on the talk show or one of our one shots, let us know, mhobo, Inc., Twitter, or Gmail. Folks, uh, it's been a pleasure. I really enjoy playing the anti hero, uh, especially to the accolades of my cohorts. Uh, this has been Murder Hobo, Inc., the Margu campaign. Everybody, wave goodbye and let's get out of here and have some dinner. Bye, everybody.